The vast expanses of space have long been announced as the final frontier, and for good reason. The realm beyond our atmosphere has continued to remain elusive as scientists discover more and more strange phenomena lurking in the cosmos. New discoveries are constantly being made as we reach further into that infinite realm, but sometimes these discoveries leave us with more questions than answers. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at recent finds in space and what they mean for us on Earth. Astronomers ponder odd radio circles in space. Spherical forms are not by any means unusual in astrological imaging. Supernova remnants, planetary nebulae, and star-forming galaxies all produce circular features. However, a novel category of newly discovered cosmic anomalies, dubbed Odd Radio Circles, or ORC, has recently emerged as a large and unexplained entity visible only under radio wavelengths and highly circular with a distinctive, brightened edge. Whilst other spherical forms aren't particularly unusual and are regularly documented, odd radio circles have baffled scientists since their recent discovery, and their origin can only be guessed at. In late 2019, scientists operating an all-sky continuum survey with the Australian Square Kilometre Array Pathfinder Telescope noticed three unique spherical anomalies in the data. Because these orbs were unlike anything they'd seen before, researchers initially wondered if they were merely glitches. However, the SKA Pathfinder Telescope is one of the most highly sensitive radio telescope arrays, and this, coupled with the fact that there were three clustered near each other, drastically decreased the likelihood of this being as simple as a glitch in technology. Scientists began sifting through archived images and found a fourth ORC that had been captured in 2013. This was in the galaxy cluster of Bell 2142, as well as six other bodies that were much fainter, but were considered candidates for odd radio circles. The four documented ORC are approximately one arc minute in size, which corresponds to roughly three hundredths the size of our moon. They're also only found in high galactic latitudes. They're unique as they're only visible at radio wavelength, and are hauntingly invisible when viewed with X-ray, optical, or infrared telescopes. They're also not all identical. Two have a galaxy near their centre, while the other two do not. ORC3 is in a solid disc shape, while the others resemble a ring with a hollow centre. But what exactly are these orbs? The short answer is that scientists can merely speculate. They're unable to determine how far away the odd radio circles are, which could provide valuable clues as to their properties. The most prevailing theory is their spherical shock wave remnants from the transient events outside of the galaxy. This could be things such as fast radio bursts, gamma ray bursts, or neutron star mergers. After analysing their sizes, scientists agree that if this were the case, the transient events would have had to occur in the far distant past, and existing examples of transient event. Remnants don't appear closely related to these new ORCs, with their edge-brightening properties and occasional lack of central galaxy. What is certain is that odd radio circles are unlike anything that's been observed in space before. This has led some to wonder if the phenomenon could be artificial in origin, even hinting at outside life forms. Regardless of whether it's natural of an occurrence or not, there's no doubt these odd radio circles belong to an entirely new class of astronomical object, leaving scientists searching for their origin. SPT-041847 is the first Milky Way lookalike. A discovery made via a telescope system in Chile in 2020 has challenged the way that astrophysicists understand the formation of galaxies. Lurking in space was a previously undiscovered galaxy that bears striking resemblance to our own Milky Way. The galaxy, dubbed SPT-041847, is approximately 12 billion light-years away from Earth, meaning that we see it as 12 billion years ago. At this point in time, our universe was only 1.4 billion years old, which is a mere 10% of its current age. Scientists were able to capture the young galaxy through a process called gravitational lensing. This uses a nearby galaxy that's almost perfectly aligned with the target galaxy to view the target galaxy in sharp detail. 
The mass of the foreground galaxy is so high that it bends space-time around it, bending light into a curved path that behaves as a magnifying lens for the galaxy behind it. The new image appears as a near-perfect ring, and a computer model then reconstructs the shape of the galaxy and the motion of its gas. What astrophysicists were astonished to see when the image first appeared was that this galaxy, viewed during a time when the universe was young and unstable, was surprisingly organised and in many respects resembled the highly ordered Milky Way. Although stars were forming rapidly, which isn't unusual as there was an abundance of gas for chemical reactions in the early days of the universe, what was unusual was the presence of a rotating disk and a galactic bulge, this being a compact group of stars at the centre of the disk. Previously, scientists estimated that galaxies at this point in the developmental of the universe would be highly reactive and unstable. But such a young galaxy already displaying these characteristics challenges the understanding that we have of how galaxies form. Astrophysicists admit there might be less of a dramatic change than previously imagined. This assessment is by far the most astounding aspect of this discovery. It's the first time that a galactic bulge has been witnessed this early in the entire history of the universe. It's also by far the most distant Milky Way lookalike so far discovered. Although earlier rotating disk galaxies have been found, this is the first one with the characteristic galactic bulge of our own galaxy. However, despite these key similarities to the Milky Way, astrophysicists do not expect it to evolve into something resembling our galaxy. Rather, they predict that it will become an elliptical galaxy, which lacks the spiralling arms of the Milky Way. Regardless of the future evolutions, the fact remains that this new galaxy will be carefully studied in the coming years, as scientists attempt to gain an understanding of what this new information will mean for the prevailing theories of early galactic formation. An unusual meteorite, more valuable than gold, may hold the building blocks of life. Scientists who are interested in delving into how the universe came to be have to rely on what they can see through a telescope, and what falls to Earth to be analysed from space. Luckily for researchers, on April 23rd, 2019, a rare meteorite the size of a washing machine split apart in the atmosphere and landed in pieces throughout Costa Rica. This was in Aguas Zarcas. Meteorites falling to the Earth are not altogether unusual, and scientists have found and catalogued over 60,000 fragments. However, the primordial carbon makeup of the Aguas Zarcas pieces caused meteor researchers from all over the world to rush to Costa Rica for the hopes of securing a fragment for analysis. Carbonaceous chondrite is carefully studied in an attempt to unlock the mystery of how life began from the cosmos. A meteorite with this makeup is a pure remnant of stardust specks ejected from the early solar system and is rich in carbon and organic molecules including amino acids, which are the building blocks for proteins, and by default, life. Researchers are so interested in Aguas Sarcas because of its potential to act as a key in understanding how cosmic reactions could create life with these building blocks as meteorites crashed to Earth billions of years ago. Before Aguas Sarcas, carbonaceous chondrite fragments from Australia were analysed and found to have at least 100 amino acids some of which were non-existent in known life forms. They also had nuclear bases and ribose, which are used to create genetic code material, RNA. Although there was no life forms found on the Australian meteorite, the components for life were there. The hope is that Aguas Sarcas, which is around 50 years younger, will have these components, as well as possibly proteins that haven't denatured. Researchers had to act fast though, Agua Sarcas is composed of mostly clay, which rapidly soaks in microbes from the earth and deteriorates under the rains of Costa Rica. The meteorite can only be used as evidence of possible life-forming reactions if it's collected immediately and remains uncontaminated. An additional aspect making the Agua Sarcas so valuable is the integral role of the water in its clay-like structure. This water could be responsible for kick-starting these life-forming reactions on earth. This would be when combined with amino acids and organic molecules that have been observed in its chemical makeup. 
Researchers are also studying carbonaceous chondrite in an attempt to offer insights into how we might be able to extract water from asteroids in space as a resource beyond Earth. There's no doubt that, as scientists analyse this rare meteorite, they'll be able to gain valuable insight into the origins of our solar system, and hopefully be able to answer that one ever-present question, how did we get here? The vast number of anomalies and uncharted territory in space has the potential to cloak an untold number of mysteries. This includes new life forms and possibly even undiscovered worlds. Despite huge advances in technology, we may never truly understand what lies out there beyond our Milky Way, making space truly the final frontier. So what do you make of these space discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community whilst working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.